Hello everyone, today in Hogwarts Legacy I'll be showing you how to ride and get your own dragon. Alright, now you're going to want to navigate to this website called Nexus Mods. I will leave a link in the description. There's a couple ways of doing this. One way is going to support and installing some software called Vortex. Really nice, it has a dashboard. It completely it recognizes the games that you have installed. Makes it really easy to install these mods. The other way is using a manual installation, which I, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. You want to go to this URL over here, click Games, and type in Hogwarts. Excuse me, my keyboard is really clicky. Tappity tap tap. Click on Hogwarts. Here's all the mods for Hogwarts Legacy. As you can see, I've already downloaded the one that you are here for, the dragons. And you got the Ethereal, the Green Welsh, the Hungarian Horntail from freaking Goblet of Fire. That movie was so good. The fourth book was also my favorite. Thumbs up if that was your favorite too. Or leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite movie or book was. The Goblet of Fire is fire. And now you're going to want to go to uh, Files over here. And if you are using the software, you will want to click this one. And if you're not, you're going to want to do the manual download. Click that. Do the slow download. And that will give you a little zip file here, which I'm going to do show in folder. Uh, if you can't um, extract this, go download WinRAR. It's free. And you're going to want to go to the file. You have a Harry Potter, <laughs> I mean Hogwarts Legacy installed. In mine, it's uh, program files, 86 on my C drive. I'm going to go all the way down this, not stream, well, that is Steam. Yes, that's what I want to click. Then go to uh, Steam Apps, Common, Hogwarts Legacy, Phoenix, Content, Packs, and Mods. Now, that is a fairly long <laughs> path to get here. And you can pause the video if I went too long because you can see the path right up here. All right, now that we have the zip folder here, you're going to want to right click it and click to extract. I'm not going to because I already have it installed. In fact, I'm going to delete it. I have it installed using the uh, software called um, the Vortex that I showed you earlier. You just click this link with the software. It does it auto automatically for you, finds the folder, installs it. It's awesome. It's really fast. I showed you the uh, manual download because not all mods work with the software. So I have this mod here that I'm also using called Z Potion Plant Capacity, which greatly increases the amount of potions and um, items you can carry. And that was a manual installation, and it did not work at the moment for the Vortex software. All right, before you install this mod, you should know that it's cosmetic and it replaces your hippogriff. If you have not done that quest yet, if you cannot ride a hippogriff, if you don't have a flying mount yet in the game, I would wait because otherwise your cutscenes are going to look like this. It's all right. There we go. That's it. You guys have fun riding your dragon. Like this video if it helped you out. And you should note that this dragon it mounts and rides just like your normal mount would. So, yeah, have fun. regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. <laughs>